my name is Dean Leshek. I'm a four times British bodybuilding champion. You may see me in the uh, beef articles. I do um, I write articles every month for the beef magazine. Uh, it could be training, nutrition. I try and do a different topic every month, give out as much education as I can. Uh, today we're here with the Beef TV. We're doing a series on mindset. It's called Whatever It Takes. So it's just going to go deep into the mind of the individual. Today it's all about me. Uh, just talk about the past, what we've been through, how we create this kind of mindset to do whatever it takes basically. I find that um, anybody in life that's doing anything really hard, succeeded, um, bodybuilding is a perfect example is you put yourself to the extreme in the training and the, and the diets with the nutrition. And I just don't think a, a normal people can put themselves and push themselves to that kind of that, that level what it takes to win a top bodybuilding competition to get that con to get that condition is hard so um, we're just going to talk about get, dive deep into each individual's mind and show what it what it takes what what does it what what do you need to get to that uh, ability to be able to get that kind of conditioning yeah so so basically for the TV series we're going to be traveling all around the UK, um, going out to different bodybuilders that I personally think have pushed themselves to the limit and, and achieved something pretty spectacular. Like I say, I don't, I don't believe like anyone who's had an easy life can really push themselves to that kind of level. So I want to show that there's going to be similar patterns to all these guys that they've, they've been through some horrible shit in their life to build their mindset so strong, to give them that ability to be able to achieve what they have. So we're going to have a, a select few um, around the UK. We're going to travel out to their gyms, uh, hopefully get a training session with them and talk a bit about their past and see if we can get them to open up and show these patterns, what I'm talking about. Um, talk about mine, uh, previous, if you like. I mean, for me to be able to win four British titles, it, it, it wasn't easy. I think it takes that kind of really strong mindset. I mean, if I, I go back to, to my childhood, it, it wasn't easy. We had um, an, an abusive father who was an alcoholic. So like growing up, we, we had no money. We had nothing really. So most weeks we'd come home, my, my dad would be drunk. He'd smash the house up beat my mom, rape her, things like that. And we had to witness that as, as children and it, it, it wasn't good. So you can understand that as a child going through that, I was very shy, very timid, scared of everything. As I went through school, like my mom tried her hardest. She had five kids growing up and all the abuse that she went through, it was hard for her. She tried her hardest, but um, I, I find that we wasn't so much neglected. Like I say, she tried her hardest, but, but growing up, we didn't kind of get that love and attention that most most kids get or crave. So I, I became that really shy, timid, scared child. As I went through school, I mean, I was always trying to run away from home. I was running all the time, running, running, running. So I, at school, I, I got into sports and um, I did, I got into uh, running mainly cross country, four, 400 meters. And I, I remember right back at that time, through what I, I went through as a child, it developed this hardened mind. I just, I couldn't give up no matter what. So when we was doing, say, cross country, you'd run and you'd run and run till you feel sick. And normal kids would, it's hard. They feel sick, they stop, they walk, that's normal. I had this attitude where no matter what, I couldn't stop until I crossed that line. I'd be being sick, I'd be crawling, I would have to cross that line. And that enabled me to, I, mean, I was a little skinny kid at school. I had no chance of beating these people, but my mindset enabled me to push further than the other kids did. So when I, I, I pushed myself to these levels, I started winning. I became cross country champion. And I think when I, I won these shows, I, I, I had this, this deep need inside to feel significant, to be something, to be somebody. And for the first time when, when I won this, um, this race, everybody cheered and they said well done and I, I felt significant for the first time in my life and that kind of got addictive so that what I went through as a child gave me that really hard mindset and then I, I felt significant as, as I got a little bit older I got into martial arts I did mainly Thai boxing, bit of MMA 
and I had the same attitude with that. I started to fight and uh, every fight I had I won just because of that same attitude again. I, I, I exhaled and it, like I loved it. It was it was just it was great. I think that was a big crossroad in my life that kind of edged me and pushed me in the right direction because I had a, a great instructor, um, Wayne Parsons at the time, who he was very good and he taught me he taught me respect and discipline. So I went through this mindset, I had this this through the childhood this really strong mindset. I got into the Thai boxing, it gave me the, the respect and the discipline that pushed me the right way. And then uh, when I was about 19, I got into bodybuilding. And again, with that kind of mindset, I pushed myself, uh, I trained till I was sick. I'd, I pushed myself to levels that most people, normal people can't. And the only way I could do that is because I developed that mindset. And again, in, in bodybuilding, I excelled and I won my first show, went on to win the British as a junior, purely because I punished myself, got myself into that, that condition that most people can't. And that's purely through mindset, where most people, the diet gets hard, they, they'll have a little cheat or they'll have a little snack. That thought didn't even come into my mentality. It was like, I'm dieting for 20 weeks. No food exists apart from the foods that I can eat in that period of time. After the show, I can eat what I want. So the thought of cheating or anything like that didn't even come into my mind. So I, I pushed myself to those levels where I, I achieved much more than most could. And that kind of sp spiraled al along the way. Bodybuilding gave me strength and confidence. So as I went through the, the childhood, it gave me the mindset, the martial arts, the respect, the discipline, the bodybuilding, it gave me the, the strength, the confidence. When I put all that together, it kind of developed this, this mindset that I have today. Uh, I just think you know, anything you want to achieve, if you want it that bad, you can achieve it. You just push yourself and push yourself and push yourself. When you fail, you, there's no such thing in, in my world as failing. Because when you fail, if you get back up and you try again, you've got back up and you've learned something so you've come back better so you haven't, you haven't failed the only way you can fail is if you stop and you stay down so each time you, you you fail or you make a mistake you learn from it you gain wisdom you try something else you push you try something else you try something else you try something else until you forget the right thing and you'll always get what you need in life i, I think not necessarily a dark past i, I think most people that that have that mentality have probably been through some horrible shit or, or some dark horrible shit to, to build that strength in their mind but, but some that the, the brain and the mind is an amazing thing it, it always adapts to what you've been through to to survival basically so usually the, I, I find it like you get people who, who've been wrapped in cotton wool all their life they get the tiniest small problem and they can't cope with it it's like life's ended because I couldn't have the car that I wanted. When people are, are being rock bottom, they've been through the worst kind of shit you can imagine. The small problems are not problems. Nothing is a problem because they've been through so much. These huge problems, everything else is easy. So I just find you, that you have to go through some horrible shit to, to be able to, to push yourself to those kind of levels. Not always horrible. Sometimes, like, I, I know people like have not had a bad um, childhood or whatever but they still have this need to feel significant or to be the best they can possibly be to be recognized and they develop this mindset inside themselves that they push themselves to be better to be better to be better to be recognized and no matter how good they are it's not good enough for them so it, it's not always a uh, dark or horrible but I'd say you, you have to go for some some horrible shit in your mind to be able to build that kind of strength and hopefully on this program is that's what we, we're going to go out to all these different people and if we can get them to open up see what kind of things they've been through to be able to achieve what they have and i'm pretty sure we're going to find similar patterns in in everybody that they would have there's a lot of people that they've been bullied they're, they've been abused all kinds of shit through their younger years that that's made them so mentally strong to be able to get into fitness or push they, they need something in their life to keep them pushing forward Okay, so uh, as in, in bodybuilding, when I first won the, the juniors, I was 20 years old, and um, excuse me, I won the first show that I competed in, Mansfield's Classic, which got me an invite to the British Championships. I went on to win that as a junior. 
And I mean, back then I, I was so much into my martial arts and the fighting, I, I kind of stopped the fighting to do the bodybuilding. So from 19 to 20, and then I competed. After I won the British, I, I wasn't that interested in competing in bodybuilding. I went back into martial arts. And at the time, I, I was working on building sites and in bad crowds. We was going out, we was drinking, partying, and as a young lad does. So from 20 to 24, I, I didn't compete at all. I, I got more into MMA. I was still training hard. My diet was atrocious, like I lost weight, if anything. Um, I got to 24 and I thought, I need to sort my life out. The, the bodybuilding gave me this, um, this really stable, regimental lifestyle. It, it stopped me from going out partying. I got away from all the bad crowds and I, I, I wanted this, uh, this, this stable life where I got, I said I'm, to myself, I'm going to get back into it and do a show. So when you're getting ready for a show, obviously there's no going out, there's no partying, you can't drink, you can't eat bad food. So I just tripped myself into that with that mindset. I'm, I'm kind of all or nothing. So while I wasn't competing, I just didn't care. When I, as soon as I set a date and said, I'm going to do this, the goal set, I have to do it. So from the age 24, um, I got back into it. Um, because I'd won the, the British before previously, I get an automatic in right to do the British Championships again. So I, I competed in that, um, in the open classes. I can't remember where I, I, I came. I didn't do that well. Uh, next year I came back much bigger, much better. Same again next year. And I competed 10 years in a row, up, up until now. I'm, I'm now 37. And uh, I achieved uh, four British titles in that time. Um, it was a bit disheartening for me that I, I won so many times and never got, was allowed a, a pro card in their rules with the UK BFF back then that if you win three times you can apply for a pro card so I did and I was denied it I won four times and they still denied me of it and, and basically afterwards it, it kind of came out that because of certain people that I was hanging around with and, and friends with uh, the, the main guys in the federation didn't like those people so they wouldn't give me a pro card for politics and bullshit reasons basically so I, I just decided I was putting so much of my, my life, my time, my money. There's a lot of sacrifices to make to compete at that kind of level. The, doing all the dieting, the, ex, the extreme dieting, you're so tired, you get moody. Um, you, you push people away. I mean, it, it's, it's hard. I mean, even like uh, relationships, it's, it's a lot to ask for a, a girl in a relationship to pull up with somebody who's dieting to that extreme. and. It's like, oh, do you want to do you want to go out and get some food? Oh, no, I'm dieting. I can't do that. Or, what do you want to do today? Oh, no, I've got to go to the gym. It's everything. Is, it's such a selfish sport. And to be the best for you to be, you have to be selfish. And I, I'm not a selfish person, so I always found that a bit hard. Maybe I could have been better in in some cases where I prioritise other things over my my competing and bodybuilding. But because I put so much money and time and effort into it, and I just thought. My whole life's come into this for 14 years and no matter how much I keep putting into it, they're never going to allow me to have this pro card. I'm not earning any money from it, it's just costing me all of my money. So I decided to, I'm not going to compete, I'm just going to train for myself and to help other people. I, I, love, to, I love training, it's always going to be in me. So um, the last year I haven't competed and it's, it's been awesome. I've uh, just trained for myself, I've got back into more of a healthy lifestyle, being a bit, bit fitter, not, not eating so much food and force feed and trying to get bigger all the time, just being a lot more healthier. And um, the, the, like, I've dropped a little bit of weight, but I feel great for it. So now I've got back into a little bit more of the martial arts and I'm still training hard bodybuilding. But um, I'm putting more of my, my time, my energy, my money and my efforts into helping other people get the goals and, and where they want to be in their fitness, whether it's just for themselves or whether they want to compete or, or whatever it is. So um, that's the, the route I'm going down at the minute.